Ohio pastor who dreamed last December that he saw everything in the USA burnt away and Barack Obama winning re-election and standing on the Truman balcony with a shotgun and shooting the American Eagle out of the sky over Washington, D.C. I, I, um, I need to tell you that uh, I was in Panama last week, and I want to tell you what happened. I was seated in the aisle seat, and there was a young Panamanian woman in her early 20s in the window seat. Uh, during the flight, she started a conversation with me. She's a student, and she had been uh, in the United States for a number of months and was going home. Uh, she brought up Barack Obama's name. And as she was talking, I could discern she wanted to say something to me as she carefully struggled to frame her sentences correctly. Finally, I just came out and asked her, I said, does God speak to you? And she smiled and nodded, yes. And she said, and he speaks to my mother and to my friend. Well, her friend is a a young man who is attending college in Central America. And so I asked her what the Lord is saying to her and her mother and her friend. She said the Lord is giving all three of them dreams and visions of great trouble coming to the USA soon. Now, can you imagine this? I'm on my way to Panama. I'm sitting there in my seat, minding my own business. I prayed before I left that God would speak to me. And there I am sitting on this plane, thousands of feet in the air, and a young Panamanian woman starts a conversation with me and tells me that God is speaking to her and her mother and her friend in dreams and visions about trouble coming to America. I ask her, what's they're seeing. Uh, she specifically mentioned the re-election of Barack Obama in November. Her mother told her that she needed to come back to Panama soon because the Lord told her the world will change by the end of this year and will never be the same again. I asked if the Lord told her what will happen. She said, yes, the Lord told her mother that a world war is coming soon. This young Panamanian woman also said that her close friend, a college student, received a troubling dream a year ago about America. It bothered him greatly. He did not understand why God revealed to him that great trouble is coming to the United States. I asked what her friend saw in the dream. He saw fires burning in America, riots, chaos, the persecution of Christians. He clearly was told in the dream that it will happen after Obama is reelected in November. In fact, he is certain it will happen by this November or December. Now, let's go back to Pastor T.D. Hale. He saw the USA charred by fire. He saw riots and looting and killings. He saw Christians rounded up and sent to concentration camps. And the last thing he saw in the dream was an election ballot containing the names of Mitt Romney and Barack Obama. Mr. Obama's name was checked as the winner. Obviously, the Lord used the ballot in the dream to give Pastor Hale a time reference, a marker about when this time of fire would take place. Now, the young Panamanian college student saw in his dream last year that there would be fires and rioting and persecution in America. He was told these things would be connected to Obama's re-election, and he clearly heard November as the start of the woes. The young woman's mother was told by the Lord that the world will change before the end of this year, that a world war is imminent. (coughs) Excuse me. Now, personally, I know several people who have received dreams and visions over the past year in which the Lord spoke to them about trouble after the November elections. I've told you in the past about dreams that my own family have received. On Sunday morning, August twenty second, 2010, my daughter-in-law was disturbed by a dream she received during the night. In that dream, our family was in a holiday party. Tiana said it was a Christmas party, but not Christmas Day. It was the holiday season. So that could be any time in November or December. 
an angelic woman entered the party. She came immediately to our family and said, this is it. There's no more time. You must go now. Tiana said we knew what she meant. We nodded our heads and indicated we would obey. The woman said the same thing to everybody else in the party, but nobody paid attention. They continued to eat, drink, laugh, enjoy the festive atmosphere. My son Jeremy bolted out the door in search of a boat in which our family could escape. The streets, however, were filled with flames and smoke and chaos. One hour later on that same day, I met my daughter Carissa. She told me, I've got to tell you about a dream I had last night. And the Lord told me throughout the dream, make sure you tell your father about this dream. She dreamed that our family was frantically searching for a place to hide from the fire that was burning in the land. The next day, August 23rd, 2010, as I prepared to go to bed that night, the voice of the Lord said to my spirit, Rick, you are preparing the audience to survive the financial collapse. But that is the least of their problems. You need to prepare them to survive the fire. America will be consumed in fire. Listen, I could go on and on and tell you what other people have told me privately. I know another couple that the wife dreamed over a year ago about fire and chaos in America. She saw a suffocating police state descend on the nation. Everybody was locked down. The government watched every move the people made. And the Lord's voice, she heard the Lord's, the Lord's voice in that dream. And he said these things would happen after the November 2012 election. 